Hi, hello there. I'm just back. I've been out this morning reconnoitring the journey. I thought I knew, but I thought I'd just check it out, and I'm jolly glad I did. Do you know, I haven't driven all week. I've just been at home, being very busy doing paperwork and some cooking and what have you. Oh, and talking to you, of course. Um, it's amazing how quickly one gets out of the habit of driving. Well, I'm driving on roads that you don't travel every day. You know, going a little bit further. And it wasn't very far. I just wanted to check it out. And I'm jolly glad I did. It was really useful. You know, the roads change and both have building works going on in them, or road works, I should say, and various things like that. And, of course, the traffic is different on different days. Not that it was heavy this morning. It wasn't. Um, but anyway, I'm very glad I did it. And on the way back, which is an absolute bonus, I hadn't thought about this at all, I was able to call in at my favourite um, garden centre, it's absolutely lovely one. It's on it's on the road just before we get to Kidlington. And of course I can't think of its name now. <laughs> I'll have to put it in my blog. Anyway, I wanted to ask them about apples, um, Brayburn apples. There was some query over whether Brayburn are self-fertile or not. And I was trying to help my son out in Australia. Mind you, of course, probably the well, it's so different out in Australia, probably the apples, even the Brayburns are, you know, react differently to to um to their surroundings so uh i think in australia they're not self-fertile and you have to have um if you got, want to fertile, uh, you know, pollinate two other trees you have to have um you have to have a third tree you can't just have one and the other because brownies are not so they're not self-fertile they need to be pollinated by another tree so i think he's got to have three so that means he's got probably got to have a crab to go with his um Braben and um, Bramley. So yeah, so he's they're growing in orchards in their new garden. So that's terribly exciting. Hopefully, I shall see it next year. Goodness me, that's exciting. Anyway, so so that was a bonus that I was able to go to this wonderful little nursery. It's really splendid, um, and I just cannot think of his name. I shall have to put it in my blog. Anyway, um, so, so that was good, that was a good morning, and on the way back also, I went to the um, Christmas market at Adderbury, and it was as lovely as ever, it's always glorious, they have lots of lovely things there, and you can have lunch and tea and coffee, and there's lots of people there that one knows, and um, one of my best friends was there selling her Christmas cards, so I bought all my Christmas cards today, so I have actually started getting ready for Christmas, which is rather good, it's the first of December tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? I just, you know, we all say this every year and it always comes around just in the same time. It doesn't come any quicker or any more slowly. It suddenly, I suppose because we've put it off, I haven't started thinking about it. But I have actually done that. But anyway, now I've got some cards, so that's great. Okay, I'm waffling. Right, so rest of the day, well, I'm going to go and do some shopping and then I'm going to do some cooking to fill the freezer because it's getting, in fact, it's very empty. I've only got a few cakes in there at the moment, so it's very empty. So I've got to put, um, put that right. Supper last night, we had cauliflower cheese, and that was scrumptious. And I put in, um, according to the old family recipe, I put other things in it. So it had bacon in it and hard-boiled egg and um, mushrooms and peppers. And it was very nice. Oh, and then because he loves to have meat, uh, I did some sausages to go with it. And what else did I do? I'm sure there was something else. Oh, I think there were a few potatoes left in the in the fridge you know I love having um, day old potatoes cooked potatoes in the fridge because you can just throw them into anything so I just fried those a little bit with the sausages so that went down very well so that was good so we had that um, and goodness is what we're going to be cooking or having for supper tonight he's even talked about perhaps we'll go out or perhaps we'll have a takeaway so that would be rather fun less cooking I mean, I've got plenty to do because I've got that cake to make today and I so I didn't, didn't get round to cooking those apples and onions that I prepared yesterday, so I've got to do those. Okay, so, well, yes, what I was going to talk about today, I'll talk about tomorrow, so that'll be good. No, on Monday, I won't, I won't vlog tomorrow, because it's Sunday, and we're going out for this birthday lunch, so there'll be lots going on. So I'll see you on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and Sunday, and we will chat again on Monday. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.